Hey everyone, Emmylou here. Today, if you're watching it New Year's Eve, is New Year's Eve today. Now, I want to do an, I don't I want to do a kind of like a graffiti happy new year with like bubble writing, loads of colour. Just think it would look really cool. So it's words today. I thought we could be really fun. I can't speak. Okay, let's go. So it's happy new year with balloons. So first, just follow along and don't worry if it gets a bit tricky. You just want to draw a H first of all. So just be playful with it and don't worry if it looks a bit strange. So there's my H. So my H is right there. I'm doing it on landscape paper, which is it's up this way, not the other way. I'm using a pencil just to begin with. And then we want an A now. An A, I try and do like that. With a little bit there. Circle. And then this little over bit. So pause the video and do that again if you can't see what I've done because it's an A. It looks like a D, but it won't in a moment. Because it's there. Actually, I don't know why that. Yeah, you don't want to like a D. D's not good. <laughs> okay, now you want to do the P. So it's like all it is is letters, and the letters are all jiggledy. It looks really cool. So just have a little go at doing it. Doesn't matter how you do it. Doesn't have to be like mine. You could do them so they're not overlapping if it helps you. Look at that curly wire. So that's happy, <sighs> nearly dry, I'll show you what the other bit looks like. Happy and then new year. So I'm not going to put these together just to, just, just to help you in case you're getting a bit confused. But you're going to do an M. So if you can't do bubble writing, do it like this. Like just, hang on. If you can't do bubble writing, draw it in capital. And then make chips out of it. So, one, two, three. So the thickness that you make, that will be the word you colour. Do you know what I mean? So just make the letters that you draw thicker. Most people probably do this freehand, but if you can't, it's okay. I find it tricky. And it's taken me forever just to try and do something, you know? It takes a while to learn stuff. So just have a go, have a go at draw. The A, I would say, is the hardest thing. And that is the hardest thing for me to do. Should we try the A there again now? Let's try it. So we're just gonna join this up. That's all it is, it's an A. So it's like a circle with a shape over it and then we've got an R. Whoa. Good thing about this is you can make it really exaggerated, the writing, like you can make it big, small, everywhere. I'm gonna put some dots. So it looks kind of cool with dots. I'm gonna do a big balloon and a balloon there. Now this balloon is gonna go this way. Whee! That balloon is gonna go there. And that is all you need to do. So take your time drawing this, pause the video, continue doing it. Don't worry if you think, oh, this is really difficult. Just take your time because writing can be quite tricky actually. Now you might want to do it. Um, I'm just going to think the balloons are uh, shiny. So I'm going to do that one then. Um, the right, the, oh, I can't say it. The lettering. Can be 3D. So to get it 3D, you just got to do this. You've got to make the thickness. So you do that colour down one side. So it's only got to be one side. It's not the whole of the. It's not the whole of the. Um, I've got no words today, have I? <laughs> it's not the whole of the letter. It's just these bits so if you're not quite sure you don't even have to bother doing them if you don't want to and to be honest it doesn't actually matter how you do it 
I think I've swapped now what I'm doing. But you know what? It kind of looks cool. Yeah, I've completely swapped. Making it chunky for different angles. But do you know what? It doesn't matter. The purpose of this is to sort of have a sign, really, to put on your window and say to people, Happy New Year! Happy! And it will be a Happy New Year. Yes, it will. Right, I've gone a little bit strange now with my uh, chunky writing. It's almost like I'm not sure where it's going now, so that's okay. I think as long as some of your writing's chunky, then it's fine. Because if you think about graffiti writing, it's all over the place, isn't it? It's, it's quite arty. Okay. It's different. Okay. Right, so I'm quite... I'm quite sure I'm quite pleased with that because it's all over the place there's no particular I'm not following any particular prescription it's just it is what it is so now you've just got to color it really bright uh, and obviously once you've colored it then get a black marker don't try not to do it in chalk if you've got chalks do it in chalk but then outline it afterwards I would probably do it in felt tip you know or paint I'm just going to do it in chalk because it's quick it's quicker to show you and I've done black pens so if you do do it in chalk maybe do the black pen over the pencil first I'm quite excited now about New Year's Day because I'm doing this Happy New Year everyone and what a year it's been hey Yes. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, I like the yellow, don't you? The yellow looks super bright. I had an orange, which I just realised I now I've still got. I'm not being that neat, am I, with my colours? I think we both will all agree. <laughs> but you don't really need to be in this particular thing. Bit of blue. So you want to go for the bright colours, ideally. Otherwise it's not going to look very happy, is it? And we, we want a happy new year. You're red and yellow and pink and green. Red! I've got red. Although, we could do the balloon red, couldn't we? Right, so that is it. Obviously we haven't finished, but get a clean finger. Blend. Now, if you wanted to outline it, do not outline it with a felt tip because if you're doing it in chalk, it's going to ruin your felt tip. But if you haven't done it in chalk, then feel free to do it with a felt tip. So what you want to use is probably a black pastel at the end. Don't do it now, but do it right at the end to outline it. You might not need to outline it. I mean, I didn't outline mine but that's because I've done it in um, black pen haven't I ooh look at that happy new year guys um right okay <laughs> okay guys let's get a blue and get a dark blue and you know what a dark purple you see it looks nice with the black markery bits because it's more graffiti star. I'm just not sure about the red. Let's do a red. It's just I wasn't sure. Do you know what? To make the balloon look, look more like... Because you could do all the words in felt tip and do the balloon in chalk if you've got it. Because you want to do it like that. Then smudge. Because it will make the balloon look really 3D. Look at that. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I like that. It's really cool. That may say so. Now, then we do another yellow. Let's do a yellow one just because it looks quite nice together. Could be any colours, by the way. It doesn't have to be this. Then you could. I'm going to get a string that's purple. Whoa! Ta-da! If you want to, you can blow some paint on there. 
get a straw and blow it out uh, sprinkle some paint like blot it on but be super careful if you're at home because <laughs> you don't want to make it too messy but that's it's kind of messy and a bit quick my one but I would outline it it can be any colors you like you can do shapes on there you can do circles you can do anything you like really you can it would be quite nice to do some stripes and some blobs or whatever you like so yeah have a great new year here's 2021 bye everyone see you then